Hi. Hi and welcome. We are the Revalio Therapy team and with this video we wanted to explain we are to you. We want to give you a quick overview what is we are. Then we want to talk about hand tracking and how to use it. And the th uh, third thing we wanted to talk about is our patient's experience and what we learned out of them. So that's uh, the Oculus Quest 2 uh, VR headset. Technically it's a screen that you put in front of your eyes, but it's a magic thing, I would say. It lets you dive in a virtual world. So you put up the headset and you can look around, you're really in this virtual world. And that's really amazing, this immersion. And you can't really explain it. No. It's something you have to experience. Yeah, and that's something that we experience, that we ta tell our patients um, about that. And they say, okay, sounds interesting. Yeah, I think that I know what you're talking about. But actually, the first moment the goggles touch their um, face and they see what they um, can experience in VR, it's mind-blowing. And Especially the moment uh, if you put them the headset on and they look straight forward and say, okay, okay, what's happening, what's happening? And then you tell them, hey, just look around. And they move around with the headset on their head and they, oh, I'm in this virtual world. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so, That's really something neat and something that you can use and we actually use um, to train um, exploration and to show them a real new world. And nowadays it's really easy to get one. You can buy it in every store actually or online and the Oculus Quest is just one of many VR goggles and that's the one that we are using right now in, with Revalio and it has something really neat too. You can, um, do you want to explain it? It's hand tracking. It's with the camera system of the Oculus Quest. It's an optical system that recognizes your hand and so your real hand is present with a model in VR. So you can move your own hands in VR to touch bubbles, to move cubes around, so you can interact with your own hand in this virtual world. And that's the second big wow moment for the patient after putting the headset on looking around is if they set up the, the headset and move the, the hands or just the, the arms without uh, hand functions in front of the, the cameras and they recognize, oh, that's my hand. Wow. And that's it. And then we start with the exercises with basic uh, tasks like touching bubbles, moving cubes around, just moving their own arms, the left and right arm in VR and doing some, some challenges. Yeah, and what we see in our patients is that this experience, this immersive VR experience with the hand tracking combined, um, leads them to explore the room, room in a totally different way. They move around further and further, their uh, range of motion expands, they move further than they ever did before. And um, what patients tell us is that they don't think about the movement in this world. They just see the target and they move towards the target. And um, before we start with the exercises, we always do a range of motion calibration. Um, that means we track how far the patient is moving comfortable and comfortably. And then we place the object on the edge of this comfortable zone of this um, range of motion zone where they feel really good about themselves and how they where they feel comfortable to move and when they reach the edges of that zone we try to put the the objects further away and they move even further and it's a really nice experience when we see the patients uh, moving around uh, in a different way uh, exploring their for example left side with the neglect and that's just amazing and just but I, by I think we're talking about personalization the data-driven personalization in a separate video i think the the immersive experience for the patient being in this uh, fully controlled visual controlled virtual world so there is no distractions it's all controlled it's a very clean um clean room a very quiet room but that makes the, the immersion seeing an object that stimulates and move a little bit further. But mm -hmm. as you say, most patients don't think that they, they try to move. Yeah. And so 
it's also a good tool to prevent learned non-use because the system adapts to the patient and can still challenge him out of his comfort zone. And I think one thing that you just said um, is the, the distraction that is not present in the room because there is nothing else except the objects that we put into that room. And with us, Revalio has a really clean room, as you said before, and there is nothing that can distract them. There is nothing moving outside of the window. There is nothing um, that no person that comes in and goes out there is no distracting um, picture on the side where they can look at there's only the object and their arms so there are, there's nothing else to do than just play the games and that really helps and i'm really fascinated from this immersion and mm. myself having the headset on playing some games uh, it's being visual in this virtual world with the sound on the left and the right ear, also from the sound you're in this world, most of the time I don't realize what's happening around me. Mm -hmm. And you actually forget how long you're playing and that's why we try to cut the exercises after like three to five minutes to um, make the people stop and to take a break. And we actually hear from our patients, hey, why, why did that just stop? I was totally in the zone, I was working on it, but there are up to 100 repetitions. So we think as a therapist, it's time for a little break and that's good. But with the personalization, as George said before, uh, we will tell you more about that in a separate video. And the Oculus Quest or all VR headset are basically gaming consoles. So it's all about gaming, motivation, doing the repetitive task in a funny way. Yeah, in a meaningful way. It's not just fun, it's training, it's exercise, it's work and it's really hard for some of our patients. But with the motivation that it comes out of the gaming part, uh, it's easier to do than just doing reps at home with no goal. Yeah. If you ever have the chance to try VR headset on, just do it. Yeah. But don't play roller coaster. No. There are so many good experiences on VR um, to, to experience this immersive or this immersion. Mm -hmm. uh, just try it out. Yeah. And if you get your hands on, as George said, try it out. And if you have the chance to try Revalio, just go to the store, download it, and try it out and figure it out for yourself. If you're a patient or you, if you have somebody in your family or you know somebody who can benefit from it, just show the video, show them our homepage. We're happy, happy to get in contact with you. Just let us know. Good. Bye and thank you. Bye.